course, um, because it's a bit more than you've done here. Thanks for your thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, just want to apologise for councillors. We, uh, we only um, realised in the last few days after you were here that we've gone out that um, having proof that it's sent it down to the printing was somehow um, the pages fell out of the line, so I'm sure you appreciate it. Um, it wasn't a test to test with you, but uh, it's, a, it's a general mistake. So um, you will find that you get page 32 and then jump to page 36. We go back to 35, 34, 33, and then the page is set. So, uh, it wasn't tested at about nine at night. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's messy, and I apologise. And after our uh, discussion of the last council meeting around trying to get our agendas right, um, Thank you, Mr. Fox. Um, so we will do as much as we can before um, the Healthy Rivers uh, presentation at 11. So we'll just carry around. Just so with the confirmation of the agenda, just be a mover and a seconder, please. <coughs> as they are. Councillor Shaw, Councillor Major, thank you. All those in favour? Uh, yes, Gary. Uh, conducts of interest? Do we have any? No, right, thank you. All right, confirmation of the uh, previous minutes. Starting on at uh, 4.1, page 6, just looking for a um, matter of fact at this stage, page 6, page 7, page 8, 9, and 10. Are there um, any matters of fact there? I'll confirm those, those minutes. Uh, move on a second, please. Councillor Ben Wyman, Councillor Dale, thank you for those in favour. Against. Gary. That is arising. Councillor Major. Councillor, a couple of matters. The first being the um, Tigreau pool, which was the part of the last meeting discussions. In light of the earthquake and the email we've had in the last couple of days, what's the, the latest?
um, one of the other criteria, and I think it was quite an important one, was that there had to be other funding partners as well. Um, I read that as part of it. Pretty sure. Okay, so that would have that would have been a, a difficulty in added to it too. Was there was concerned with the read that list that some of them seem to have been uh, projects that were current and yeah. that's it's a little bit of it is what it is. Uh, any further that is right?
Yeah, um, it was nice. Do you have any idea of just roughly the dates of those? I do. I'm the one in Toko Rocks, because my place is March the 1st. My title is March the 7th. And T Row is the 14th. Challenge 14. And the doing it to the water festival, the Lunes Oval, like a separate thing? Yes, there's a Lunes Oval White Cattle is the yeah. 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 
damage will be made because there are so many opportunities in the district and after all that is uh, money that belongs to the people uh, and I think that money should be put to work for the benefit of uh, this community. I think I couldn't agree more to be honest and it's, it's good to see that they're actually making some traction in, in moving forward.
to the second reading, the level of E. coli was um, at the lowest level of detection. Um, we asked, because we've got the two reservoirs, we asked that to be the one reservoir, uh, took it out of commission, took a second uh, test. There was a second test came back with a, um, with a, a negative reading, so it um, wasn't confirmed in the subsequent test. Um, we have protocols in place. We immediately let the Ministry of, um, Ministry of Health and Drinking Water Assessors know of what, the, um, what had occurred. Um, and uh, we essentially, um, despite the fact that um, the second result didn't show any uh, results, we were able to uh, enter the water from the reservoir and um, do the deploying thing. We've got maintenance work schedules to undertake. We think some of the contamination may have got in through the roofs, and we um, it's something we do on a regular basis. So we're just going to have a we report that maintenance work forward. But what it does highlight, and we're going to have to just have some discussions, um, essentially first at the staff level to get our heads around around this, is that the only supply that we have that is not chlorinated uh, is the supply from Blue Spring to Pinedale um, Reservoirs, and we have not coronated that because of the um, request from Bogglers for us not to do that. Uh, chlorine does provide an, 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 an extra barrier in terms of disinfection, and really <coughs> helps us counter any contamination that could occur on the supply. We've got a number of tanks, we've got backflow prevention on all the farm tanks, but backflow prevention is only a prevention, can, you know, that, uh, there are chances that it can be bypassed. We have different levels of backflow prevention, and most of the time we've gone for middle of the road uh, because we think that's appropriate to the risk, but the risk is slightly elevated if we don't coronate. So it's, it's something we just need to get our head around what that means. We've <coughs> had discussions with some of the doctors on if we do believe that it's important to coronate. Uh, we've done a health risk management plan for the water supply. And that is done every five years. And this uh, situation was identified. Um, but based on the evidence at that time, we didn't think it was too much of a problem. Now that I've got more information, I'm starting to get nervous, but I'm not concerned. I'm just a little bit nervous. Um, the next bit is um, it's the road traffic parking. We've done some controls. Um, and we put some yellow lines down on the side of the road. What we're asking as part of this report is for council to pass a resolution to add those um, items as shown on page 39 into part two of the bylaws, which enables us to uh, write out tickets and remove vehicles if they pop up, continue to ignore those yellow lines. So that's <coughs> it's it's uh, outside the bylaws, so we don't have to reconsult the bylaws, just the schedule that needs to be updated. Okay. Enforcement uh, will be done by uh, any police that are down? By police or by our staff. Oh, my staff. Yeah. We also are in discussions with the um, transport agency, and they are keen for us to take on the responsibility to do enforcement along um, along um, Montra, uh, and um, we sounds like we can reach quite a good agreement with our constable we meet um, for that enforcement. Um, and they will be the um, of enforcement to be undertaken. So we need to get through.